All right, so pre-infusion. Uh, pre-infusion is, is uh, low pressure um, water, infusing the puck, letting it sit there for a while, and then going to a higher pressure. And um, most other data suggests that a, a good amount, some pre-infusion is, is better than none. And a lot of machines have modified to, to allow for pre-infusion or better pre-infusion. And then some have moved on to doing a bloom where you do a pre-infusion, sometimes at a higher pressure, and then you drop to a low pressure or low flow. Um, so on a lever machine, I could easily do a bloom and, uh, or uh, I can do a bloom, I can do a pre-infusion. So I, I looked here at pre-infusion and um, I did 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. Um, in this case, the 10 seconds happened to be a little bit higher in extraction yield. Um, I'm not sure, I don't have a great explanation for it. Um, but in terms of taste, the 30 second was just a little bit better. Um, so this is a variable to play around with, because right? you, you might find out, you know, your tasty point is, is a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, it might be a wash too, because sometimes you optimize for one variable and uh, when you try to optimize for another variable, you don't get any more performance because you've already over-optimized in another way. So in total time, the benefit of doing only 10 seconds is you get the shot out faster, if that's important to you. That's not so important to me. My current profiles run about three minutes now. Um, so my, my aim is for high extraction and a very strong espresso.